Hey everybody, Joshua Smith here with the Joshua Smith Real Estate Group at Remax Professionals. Creating this video today to talk about your 2014 goals. Um, and you'll see below in this email, uh, once you're done watching this video, we share our layout of uh, how, we, how we do our 2014 goals on the team. Uh, but this is a quick video to talk about them. So I'm here in my war room today. I'll give you a quick snapshot of this, man. Um, you know, I love having these up. So we got no negativity allowed. Success is my obligation, my duty, my responsibility. Only positivity allowed here. Champions dominate, one of these compete. Greatness doesn't come without training. Um, so our war room is just a series of positive, uh, you know, signs up there and then, uh, you know, whiteboard scripts, all that fun stuff. So in here hanging out today, working, grinding, getting some stuff done, um, you know, planning for our 2014 heart. So, um, my message to you to help you with your 2014 and my message to, uh, not just realtors, but everybody, everybody on our team are, are from, you know, our support staff to our, you know, to our agents, everybody on our team. Um, we do our goal setting with. And, and uh, you know, Harvard did studies, and you'll see that in this goal setting segment below, um, but Harvard did a study, and it showed that uh, of all their MBA students, right, Harvard MBA students, so all graduated from Harvard, all graduated with MBAs, um, 3% of those MBA grads earn 10 times the amount of the income. And Harvard was like, well, why the heck is that? You know, same environment, same professors, same education, same degree, why are they making 10 times the amount of income? Um, so they started doing some studies on it, started researching it. And what they found out was that the, the 3% that made 10 times the income, the other 97%, again, that's other Harvard grads, not, you know, of average um, or non-college educated. That was 10 times the income of other Harvard graduate MBA students. And uh, the one thing that those 3% all had in common, what they boiled it down to is those, that 3% had clear, concise, um, specific goals. They had them written down, committed to paper with, uh, with plans of action to achieve those goals. Um, you know, most people don't, don't set goals. They don't. I mean, they set New Year's resolutions and they fell at those. They don't really set hardcore goals. So it's all about goal setting, right? So um, people spend more time designing and prepping their grocery list than they do their life and their life plans. So that's what this video is all about. I want all of you to create a life plan, not just a business plan, but a life plan. Why do we work? Why do we grind in, in real estate? You know, we work our, you know, 12, 14 hour days, 60, 80 hour weeks. I mean, we're, we're out there hitting the hard. But why do we do this? It's to have an amazing life, to provide opportunities for our, our kids and our, our spouses and our loved ones. Um, so that's why we do this. So it makes sense to plan your life put together your life plan first, and then your business plan to fit within that. So you'll see below, uh, we have nine segments of goal setting. You know, family, spouse, significant other, um, health and fitness, um, faith and spirituality. You know, all, all, only one segment has to do with business, and that's very, very important. You know, a lot of people come to me when I'm talking to them, um, whether they're on the team or, or just, uh, you know, the real, realtor the, in, the, in the industry that I'm mentoring and helping out, they'll come to me and say, hey, the most important thing in my, my, my world, my life, my you know, are, are, is my family. And I, and I look at the calendar and I'm like, well, you have no family time on your calendar. The most important thing to you in your world isn't even on your calendar, isn't even part of your goal plans, isn't even part of your life plan. You have your business goals, but you don't have a, a family goals, family plan, life plan. Um, you know, so that's what I want to challenge everybody to do. You know, start uh, putting goals together. Start living your life intentionally. There is no either or in life. I don't believe in shortages. It's not when I was, well, I want to have a great career, but I, I don't want to sacrifice my relationship with my kids. You can have it all. You just have to start living your life 100% intentionally. Um, you know, there, there's no such thing as success without sacrifice. So yeah, happy hour, Monday night football, I have Buffalo Wild Wings with the boys, you know, that may have to end. You know, but get crystal clear on what you want out of life, what's important to you, um, what you want to accomplish. Get crystal clear on that, uh, you know, and then start making the conscious choices every single day to achieve those goals. So um, in the goal segment below, you'll see five action steps to set your goals. You know, goals have to be hardcore specific. Um, you know, you can't just say the difference between a goal and a wish. A wish would just be, I want to lose 30 pounds. You know, where a goal is, I want to lose 30 pounds in 60 days. Um, I'm going to start tomorrow. 
Um, here's the exact diet, the exact workout regimen, the exact day-to-day -day process steps to get there. Um, a wish is, you know, I want to take the, uh, my, my um, family on to Hawaii this summer as a vacation. That's a wish. A goal is I'm going to take my family to Hawaii on August 1st through August 7th. Here's where we're going to stay. Here's what we're going to do when we're there. It's on my calendar. Here's how much it's going to cost me. Do I have enough money in my bank account now to pay for it? If not, do I need to start a budget? Do I need to put that budget together and start saving now for it? That becomes a hardcore specific goal that you review daily. You reflect daily on these goals so they're forefront of your mind to get out there and accomplish them. So one of my mentors says um, he reviews his goals twice a day, every single day. So I adapted that same mentality because, of course, I strive to be like my mentors. Um, so when my, when my competition out there, you know, other realtors in the industry may review their goals if they even set them, but may review them once a year when they're doing their business planning, but I'm reviewing mine 700 plus times a year, who's going to have a better likelihood accomplishing those goals? The dude that's hitting them 700 times a year. So reflect your goals, so set your goals, set them specific, follow the game plan we have below um, in, in the goal setting sheet. It's there for you. Um, that's why we've attached it with this email. Um, if, uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube or Facebook and you would like a set of that, email me, Joshua at soldbyjoshua.com, and I can supply that breakdown. It's got the Harvard study. It's got the five key elements to goal setting. Um, and then it's got the worksheet to fill in your goals. So um, start setting those up. Start living your life hardcore intentionally. Um, you know, for example, in real estate, you know, we, we, we sacrifice everything for our clients, right? So we, we don't, you know, we, we tend to not pay attention to our, our, let's say, spouses. Well, you need to have a goal for that. You need to have a game plan for that. So maybe it's, hey, every single Wednesday night at 7 p.m. is date night. Myself and my spouse, we're going to get a babysitter every single Wednesday night at 7 p.m. It's on my calendar. It's on my schedule. It's an appointment. If a client calls, you know, hey, unfortunately, I'm an appointment at that time. Let's reschedule for this time. You're not uh, uh, lying to your client because it is a client appointment. It's actually the most important client, right? So um, getting hardcore with those, getting on your calendar, and then to ensure that you're successful with your goals is reflection, daily reflection. You need to be reading your goals every single day. Look at your calendar. Look at your goals and ask yourself every single day. Once you review your goals, look at your calendar. Ask yourself everything that you do. Is this helping me accomplish my goals? Yes or no? And if no, better get off my calendar. Better get the heck out of my way. Um, you know, this is what uh, we, we are training hardcore with our agents. We work with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, a, and, of course, a, a team basis um, to accomplish these. We do a lot of exercises to keep everybody accountable, uh, accountable with their goals. Um, this is what we encourage every single day, and this is what I personally do every single day. I review mine twice every day, and the morning before I start my day, it's about 20 minutes reviewing my goals, reflecting, going through some solitude time, and then I review them again before I go to bed. So I'm always staying on focus because it's so easy to get off track. And the law of diminishing intent is every bit as true as, as gravity, right? So, you know, if you've ever been amped up to start going to the gym, start working out, start this new diet, I mean, you're, you're hardcore, you're ready to rock and roll, and all of a sudden a week later, you're like, eh, I'm good, I don't need that, it's out of my mind, I don't, I don't care to have that anymore. The law of diminishing intent exists. Um, it's true and it's hardcore, so you've got to review this stuff, keep it front of mind, so you're always staying on focus. Um, so I hope you found this, uh, this uh, video helpful, inspirational. If there's anything uh, myself and my team can ever do to support you, uh, whether you're looking to join the team or not, you know, we're here for you. Um, you know, my goal in life is, is, is to give, you know, to help others and change as many lives as I can, whether you're with my organization or not, with my team or not. I'm happy to help you in any possible way that I can. So again, Joshua at soldbyjoshua.com. If, uh, if you're seeing this outside of this email, if you're seeing it on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, and you want a copy of that, hit me up. Happy to do it for you. So you guys have an absolutely uh, amazing day, amazing weekend, uh, amazing Christmas, happy new year, and uh, start prepping now to make sure to ensure that 2014 is your best year ever. Um, go out there, crush it, go out there, dominate, and have an amazing day. Thank you so much.